Hello, my name is Bev Morgan. I'm a Hanover artist and teacher, and I'm a proud member of the Southampton Art School. I will be teaching a plein air painting course on June 3rd. Registration is through the school, but the class itself will be in my backyard in my Hanover Art Studio. I will be giving practical tips all during the day, and students are able to use those tips and do some plein air painting. When I teach plein air painting, first I usually go through um, different points uh, of plein air painting. When you first go to a site, it's always nice just to walk around for about 10-15 minutes and choose a great location to do your painting. Next thing is know what you're going to be painting. Find something that, that will inspire you to do a sketch or a paint, painting. And if you can't find anything in that location, focus on one small detail. And the next choice, next thing you have to think of is what size of a painting I will be doing. If you have all day or half a day, then you can go for a larger size painting. If you have only a how, an hour or two hours, um, then a smaller one would work best. So I have, if I have um, two hours or an hour to paint a sketch, my focus is something small on a small sketchbook. And I would just have to bring my sketchbook and my bag of goodies. So I have a water brush. I have pens and watercolor pens in here. And also in my book here, I have watercolor paints that I dried on little cards. I have watercolor pencils that all I need is a, a wet uh, wash, sorry, a water brush and grab some of these colors and put it on my paintbrush. So you have to bring what you need just for the time. So time is so important when you're trying to decide what to bring. Always expect the unexpected. Because here in Canada, it could be sunny in the morning, it could be cloudy in the afternoon, the temperature may drop, I always bring a jacket and even a, a warm pair of gloves uh, if I'm painting in early spring or late fall. Now, you have to simplify your supplies that you're going to be bringing because you have, would have to carry them to wherever you are. Now, my setup here is set up for a, either a half day or, or a day and I can carry everything on, on my shoulder and my backpack down here. Now if I have an hour or two, this is all what I bring. So very quickly, it's my sketchbook in here, my travel palette. So everything is carried on my shoulder. Plus, it's always a good idea to have journal books when you travel. Do your sketches and painting. And when I traveled with other artists to Italy, France, and Portugal, I always left spaces so that way when I take a picture of what I was sketching, I could put the photograph right here next to it. I taught them watercolor, watercolors on cruise ships. So this is my cruise ship journal book. And you see there's lots of notes here. It's important to record some of your, your feelings at the time when you do plein air painting. It's sunny out. Uh, there was a breeze. There was children laughing in the school, board, school uh, yard uh, next door. Or, or you, you just um, get the sense of the sea air. So it's to say a year from now when I'm rereading my sketch on my journal book, then it just brings me right back to that time and space. So another thing to bring is a camera. Because the weather can change so fast. You could have a thunderstorm or a rainstorm coming pretty fast or it become really cloudy or all of a sudden um, the conditions change. So take a few pictures as you're sketching paint. So if you don't have time to do the, the painting at the, the whole time you're there, at least you can finish it in the studio. 
end, that might be a large painting for future, uh, as a future reference. Another thing, tip that I would like to suggest is read. Read about perspective and composition. And the last tip that I would like to suggest is give yourself permission. Give your per yourself permission to go away and just spend time for yourself. So I hope you register for this plein air painting uh, class on June 3rd through Southampton Art School. And you're going to have fun once you get uh, connected and get started in, in sketching. Okay.